What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your R-Mic SR dynamic handheld microphone. This mic is perfect for any live performances, recording setups, podcasts, live streams, video conferences, and much more. So as you can see, it comes with the microphone itself, an XLR cable, an XLR to quarter inch cable, a mic clip, and a plastic carry case to bring your mic with you on the go. So here I have a microphone stand that I can actually use with my mic clip. The mic clip even comes with this adapter piece here so we can fit the clip onto different kinds of stands. For this type of stand, we won't need this adapter piece, so I'm gonna leave it off for now. So now we'll just take our mic clip and screw it onto the mic stand. So then we can just slip our microphone into the clip, and now we're totally hands-free, so we have the option to sing into the microphone while playing an instrument. So now that we've got our microphone on the stand, let me show you how we would use it for live performances. Okay, so typically for a live setup, you'll see a powered mixer that powers two passive speakers. So to connect our microphone to the mixer, we're gonna use the included XLR cable. We're gonna take the female end and plug it into our microphone. Then we'll take the other end and plug it into a channel on our mixer. Today we'll use channel one. So now we'll go ahead and turn on our mixer. The first thing we'll wanna do on our channel is raise the gain. Then we'll go ahead and raise the volume fader on our channel. And now to hear the microphone coming out of the speakers, we'll wanna raise the main left and right faders here. Now another really great thing about the R-Mic SR is that it comes with a built-in on and off switch. So whenever we're not using it, we can leave it off. And then we can flip the switch to the on position whenever we're ready to use it. So now if I go ahead and turn on my microphone, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speakers. Now if your mixer has quarter inch microphone inputs, we can also use the included XLR to quarter inch cable to connect our mic. Another great thing about dynamic microphones is that they're very durable. So they can handle a drop or a hit on stage, and they can also handle really loud sound sources like from a guitar amp or drums, which make them perfect to use for live sound. On top of live performances, the R-Mic SR is also perfect for any recording setups. So let me show you how we would set that up next. Okay, so typically for recording setups, you'll have an interface and a computer with a DAW like GarageBand, Audacity, Pro Tools, Logic Pro, etc. Now first you'll want to make sure to go into your sound settings and match the inputs and outputs to the interface you're using. Just like before, we'll want to make sure the female end is plugged into our microphone. Then we'll take the other end and plug it into a channel on our interface. Let's use channel one for now. So now we'll want to go into our DAW and make an audio track using input one since we connected it to that input on our interface. So next we'll want to raise the gain knob on our channel. Then we'll want to record enable our tracks on our DAW. So now if I turn on my microphone, you should see that signal is starting to come into that track. So now all we have to do is press record. Check one, two, this is Perry from Rockville testing out my arm mic SR. Now this is a great setup to record vocals, guitar amps, drums, podcasts, and more. We would also use a similar setup for video conferences. You'll just want to go into the sound settings of your video chatting programs like Skype or Zoom and set the inputs and outputs to the interface you're using. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your R-Mic SR dynamic handheld microphone. However, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.